SpaceX has been at the forefront of rocket technology for years, revolutionizing space travel with its reusable rockets and ambitious plans to send humans to Mars. But with success comes competition, and China has been quick to follow in their footsteps, attempting to build their own versions of SpaceX rockets that are bigger, faster, and more powerful. Hello, and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be an interesting one because we are going to talk about SpaceX rockets and China trying to build them larger. So let's get started. China's rocket program is rapidly advancing, and their latest creation, the Long March 9 rocket, is an impressive feat of engineering. With the fuel tank diameter of 10.6 meters, it surpasses SpaceX's Starship, which has a diameter of only 9 meters. This rocket is part of a Long March family a series of Chinese expendable launch system rockets that have been in development for over 50 years and have launched many successful missions for the People's Republic of China. The Long March 1, the first rocket of the series, launched the first Chinese satellite into space in 1970. Interestingly, China initially wanted to mimic NASA's SLS rocket, but they are now focusing on building something more akin to SpaceX's spacecraft. This shows that China is not content with simply copying successful technologies, but they are also interested in advancing rocket technology. It's fascinating to see how the world of rocket technology is rapidly evolving, with countries like China and SpaceX constantly pushing the limits of what's possible. As competition heats up, it's clear that the future of space travel is going to be even more exciting and groundbreaking than we could ever imagine. As we previously mentioned, the Long March 9 rocket is China's latest creation, and it follows the design of SpaceX's Starship. Interestingly, the Long March 9 has almost the same parameters as the Starship, with a height of 114 meters and a weight of 4,369 tons. This impressive rocket is capable of launching a payload of up to 150 tons into low Earth orbit, or delivering a ship weighing up to 54 tons to the moon. This capacity is particularly exciting given China's plans to collaborate with Russia on the construction of a lunar research station between the years 2031 and 2035. The Long March 9 rocket will play a crucial role in this mission, transporting payloads and spacecraft to the moon for the construction of a large-scale science or mining outpost. But that's not all the Long March 9 is capable of. Recently, China issued a technical plan for manned boarding into the fire, which requires seven rounds and nine Long March 9 rockets to transport a 120-ton payload into low Earth orbit. This highlights the incredible power of the Long March 9 and its potential to be a major player in deep space missions. In addition to the baseline model, researchers have also determined the structure of another model for space flights to low Earth orbit. The latest version of the design presented in Nanjing shows that the first stage of the Long March 9 has 30 methane oxygen engines with the thrust of 200 tons, while the second stage has two of the same engines. The optimal third stage is equipped with one engine, making it a versatile and adaptable rocket. With all these incredible capabilities, it's clear that the Long March 9 is more than just a clone of SpaceX's Starship. It's a powerful and innovative rocket in its own right. As China continues to invest in its space program, we can only imagine what incredible advancements and achievements we'll see in the years to come. One of the most impressive features of the Long March 9 rocket is its YF-91 hydrogen oxygen engine, which has a thrust of 1.2 mega newtons. Once Long March 9 enters operation, its carrying capacity will be more than five times that of Long March 5 which is currently China's most powerful rocket. This incredible power has the potential to greatly expand mankind's reach inside the solar system. Gu Min Kun, the senior rocket designers at the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, have spoken about the potential of the Long March 9 rocket. They believe that this super heavy rocket will revolutionize space travel, allowing for bigger and more ambitious missions than ever before. This includes not only manned missions to the moon and Mars, but also the exploration of other planets and celestial bodies in our solar system. 
The idea of establishing a shared future in outer space for all people is also an exciting prospect. It suggests that space travel is not just a race between countries, but rather an opportunity for global cooperation and collaboration. As more countries invest in their space programs and push the limits of what's possible, the potential for new discoveries and innovations becomes greater. The Long March 9 rocket represents a significant step forward for China's space program and for the future of space travel as a whole. As we continue to explore the outer reaches of our solar system, it's exciting to think about the possibilities that this powerful rocket will unlock. This move towards reusability is an important one as reusable rockets have been proven to drastically slash launch costs, allowing funds to be directed towards research, innovation, and more launches. SpaceX has been at the forefront of this movement, with their reusable rockets already being used for launches. Interestingly, SpaceX has avoided using patents to build their rockets, with Elon Musk criticizing the use of patents as a sign that a company is failing to innovate fast enough. In a Tesla conference call, Musk stated this about patents. It is normally used as a blocking technique and prevented other companies from progressing. This approach to innovation has allowed SpaceX to lead the charge in reusable rocket technology without the fear of other companies simply copying their technology. It's unclear what Elon Musk's reaction to China's imitation of SpaceX's Starship would be, but given his stance on patents and his dedication to innovation and disruption, it's safe to assume he would have a strong opinion on the matter. Musk has always been focused on pushing the boundaries of what's possible, and his dedication to reusable rockets has certainly paid off. As we continue to explore the topic of China's imitation of technology, it's clear that the race to space is heating up. On that note, I'll end this video here. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.